Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today in honor of SCP 6000's contest opening up, I've decided to do a short summary of what I believe are the 16 highest rated SCPs, starting from the least ra highest rated to the highest rated. And this actually includes an SCP from every series, because there is one from every series in this list. Um, I think none of the, yeah, this, unless I missed one. Oh, wait, there isn't one from every series because series two isn't on this list. That's interesting. So series one, series three, four, and five are all, uh, represented, but series two isn't. That is an interesting thing. Where is the, let's go look at the list real quick. I'm just curious. Uh, I'm not going to go into, Okay. You have to go down to... Well, it's in the top 20, so there is that. Okay. So next, it's like 1730. Which one is 1730? I'm trying to remember real quick. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right. We're going to try and do this in one take. Um, and I'm going to try and do most of this from memory, though. I've got the articles all opened up in a list here. Uh, so that I can get a bit of a refresher enough that I can just click on it and be like, okay, this is the that one. and Okay, this is that one. So, first of all, SCP-4000 is Fairyland. Don't make promises. Don't eat food from there. Don't take any gifts from there. Don't give any gifts from there. And don't tell them your name. Don't refer to anything by the same name twice that you'd like to keep. And, uh, yeah, you'll be fine because it works under fairy rules. <laughs> uh, SCP-999. I could read this slight bit of the description because it's the it covers the physicality of it. A large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime. It's friendly, it wants to help people, and it wants to save people. SCP-999 is like the nicest dog you've ever met. Uh, SCP-426 is a toaster that forces people who refer to it to refer to themselves as a toaster. So if you were to say uh, SCP-426 is a toaster, in universe you would have to say I, SCP-426, am a toaster. SCP-5000. Uh, SCP-5000 in the actual item is uh, an ex quote unquote ex absolute exclusion harness. It is a device or a suit more accurately that essentially excludes you from reality in a way, or at least from perception. Uh, and it is used in SCP-5000 to tell a story about how the SCP Foundation essentially goes mad and tries to destroy humanity. Um, and the only reason that SCP-5000 is useful in that is that because it's you're undetectable while wearing it, uh, the SCP Foundation can't easily kill uh, the wearer. Anyway, SCP-914 is a uh, mechanical device that transforms objects into other objects. Uh, it has five settings, rough, coarse, one-to-one, -one, Fine and very fine. Rough and coarse usually destroy things or reduce their quality in some way. One to one is sort of a reversal sort of. Let, let's let's put it this way: if you had a zebra and you put it in through in nine one four on one to one, uh, you would probably just reverse the black and white stripes. If I had money to bet, and left and right and all the other things, that's the sort of things it does. Fine improves things. Very fine improves things a lot. But those improvements don't work most of the time. Like if you went if you went through 914 on very fine, you might find that you are much faster, uh, that you are super strong, and that you die in five minutes because your body overheats because your metabolism is running too quickly. So I don't know how useful that is. SCP-3008 is a eldritch location. Uh it's a Ikea that essentially eats people. You go into an Ikea to shop for some furniture, you get a little lost, and suddenly you are stuck in, <coughs> in SCP-3008. 
Again, I'm not going to cut that cough out because I'm trying to do this in one take. But yeah, you're stuck in 3008, which is just an Ikea that goes on forever and is, in a, well, not inescapable, but in almost in, almost inescapable. SCP-106, uh, also known as the Old Man, is uh, just a dude who likes to eat people uh, and has a few superpowers that help him to do that, including a pocket dimension of his own. He is corrosive just by his very existence, either by existing in an area or if he wants to, he can stick his hands into and out of things, including people, uh, and cause serious corrosion. SCP-093 is a disc, is a red disc. It's called the Red Sea Object specifically, but the red disc, <coughs> when held by a particular person and allowed to come into contact with a mirror, will create a portal to another dimension and in this dimension in like the 1600s or thereabouts uh some entity came down from the sky either an alien technological or spiritual like return of god sort of thing and uh gifted humanity with knowledge and technology um and a incredibly oppressive religion <laughs> and then it left i believe yeah and so the world continued on and things went sideways pretty quickly with the technology or the mystical stuff. It's it's sort of, uh, is it mystical? Is it technology it's sort of left up in the air a little bit? But regardless, um, it goes a little wrong and they have an apocalypse of flesh monsters because that's always fun. SCP-682 is a very hard to kill reptile-like entity that hates humanity and wants to kill everyone. SCP-096 is a long-limbed, gangly, uh, we'll say slender man-looking thing that very much does not want you looking at its face and will kill anyone who uh, who does anywhere in the world, regardless of if, uh, if they see it on video or in pictures. Uh, and it will run in their direction until it gets to them with no regard for obstacles in between, and then it will kill them in an unspecified way. SCP-087 is a endless downward staircase that exists as sort of its own eldritch location. Um, think of uh, video games with uh, procedurally generated worlds that uh, have render distance limits. Uh, but that don't stop you from going beyond those limits. SCP-087 is sort of like that. If you go down far enough, reality starts to get a little wonky because the rent, the rendering is just not working. Let's put it that way. Um, and there's an entity that lives down there that tries to scare people, apparently. SCP-055, self-keeping secret or anti-meme. Uh, what that means is essentially that if you, you don't know what SCP-055 is, and that clock going off. Gosh darn it. I like, I want to do this in one take. But then, like, things happen. Anyway, SCP-055 SCP is trying to keep itself secret. That's what's happening. Uh, it wants me to stop. Uh, <laughs> not, no, not really. SCP is not real. Uh, SCP-055 is a self-keeping secret. And what it means is that um, anytime you learn about what it actually is by direct observation or even just being told about it somehow wouldn't it? it's not possible i don't think for you to be told about it because the people who directly observe it immediately you know i look over here that is a thing i look over here what was that thing i look over here, so on so forth you just don't remember as soon as you're done observing the thing so it's a self-keeping secret scp 049 is sort of a perversion of the uh idea of the scp foundation because he wants to keep some vaguely defined pestilence in containment and he will he's willing to do any kind of experiments required to do so except he doesn't know it doesn't seem like he knows what the pestilence actually is or why creating zombies out of people will help somehow <laughs> scp uh this one doesn't have a number this is because it's the procrastination rock and the procrastinate it's technically a joke scp it's the high, it's the only joke scp on this list um yeah it's just a it's a rock that makes you want to do things later the description is it's a rock that makes you procrastinate uh, i'll finish writing this up later 
is what it says. SCP, is it 2521, is uh, an entity that cannot be described. Well, it, that's not true. It can be described. Uh, but if you vocally or in text put down a description of this thing, it will find you and it will take you. Um, you can, which is why it was allowed. The only way it's able to be described on the SCP Wiki in universe or out of universe, I guess. I suppose depending on the rules you're the rules you're setting up here, is by uh, pictographs. So that's the uh, that's SCP two five two one. And finally, the top rated page of all time, SCP one seven three, which I'm not going to be able to put an image up on the screen of, um, even though there is one on the wiki. It's a statue that moves when you aren't looking at it. And uh, if you don't, uh, <laughs> if you just put it in a box, a bunch of blood and feces piles up on the floor that has to be cleaned to force you to interact with it. And that's it. It's not particularly complicated. Anyway, that's it. I thought I had a little bit, I remember it was during the, um, I might do a little bit longer versions of these at some point. When I was doing the um, the dank memes from last week, I remember I got into a lot. Like, I only did four or five memes because I got into, like, a seven-minute description of my favorite SCP. But I was realizing that, you know, plain text, too long, didn't read versions of these might be fun uh, for people. So I thought I'd do a couple of them and see how it worked out. Um, but I might do longer form sort of uh, still pl sort of a what's the word I'm looking for here? Plain language descriptions of the scps not in a president presentatory um not not the way scp not the way explorer series does it i think which he does a really good job of, a, of like a deep dive on the lore of something but more of a, a casual sort of explanation by my understanding of it which means i'll probably get some stuff wrong but you'll still get the gist which is the important part i think um, again, I might have got some stuff wrong here. Like, I'm just trying to remember these. Like, I've read all of these, thankfully. Um, I thought that I would get through this list and I would find one that I hadn't read. Because, uh, I mean, I've read a lot of the wiki, but there's a lot of the wiki. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments down below. And if I'm thinking about on Thursday doing a... So like I said, a plain text or plain language reading, not reading, a plain language description of an SCP. What's everyone's, what's an SCP that you find particularly either complex or difficult to understand? And I'll, if I haven't read it, I'll read it and uh, give you my own interpretation of what is going on in it. So uh, get, leave in the comments your suggestions. Highest, maybe it, We'll see what the highest rated one is before I commit to it, but I think I'll probably go with whatever's highest rated, and I'll do that for Thursday. So leave your comments. Uh, you can join us on Discord. There's a link in my description. Uh, and if you'd like to support the channel, because I'm still working towards making uh, some animated content, I think I think I'm, I'm pretty close. I gotta finish off my script, and then I gotta get sent off to my uh, voice actors. But if you'd like to support the channel to help make sure that happens, uh, you can buy merchandise. There's a little carousel underneath the channel uh, if you go beneath the description, or is it above the description? Either way, it's below the video, um, where you can find uh, various stuff like this. Um, I also just went ahead and threw the SCP logo on a, a bunch of different products. So if you'd like to get just a poster, like this not this particular one but because i bought this from someone else but if you'd like to get a poster like this you can get a poster like this now uh, or a t-shirt or uh, just a hoodie with a little uh, uh scp logo on one of the breasts um just yeah you can buy a product or or head on over to patreon.com forward slash d sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100. Uh, it is incredibly important right now to make sure that I can continue to make SCP content um, to support the channel. It lets me know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.